Take care of yourself. When was the last time you actually took a step back and took a deep breath in? In this video, I'm going to show you a few ways that I like to take care of myself. First things first, get your body moving. I like to awaken my body as soon as I'm up from a good night's rest by stretching and just improving the blood flow overall. This gets me into this amazing mood to start the day and it could be anything. You could do some yoga, some light breathing exercises, meditation, or you could just dance to your favorite music and just get that blood flowing. Also meet Shadow. She is the latest member in my family and I'm just trying to steal a kiss off of her. Since sleep is very important to maintain a good mental health, I thought of investing in a good mattress. I found Sleepy Cat was a really good option. I looked up some reviews and found out that they were rated the highest and thought of investing in the same. When it arrived, I was super impressed over the packaging. It's very compact, very durable and it was extremely easy to unbox. And I've just upgraded to this premium 8-inch Sleepy Cat mattress, which I'm so happy about. It has a gel memory foam that really helps in distributing your body weight evenly. You can get it uh, with 0% EMI and for 30 nights free trial. And it also comes with a 10 years warranty. I also quite love the zipper cover so you can wash and spot clean easily. If you have trouble sleeping and you have a very overactive mind, first of all, throw away your phone. Secondly, do some guided meditation and thirdly, breathing exercises like the Kumbhaka will really help you calm your mind and you will get that good night's sleep. Also, meet the second newest member of my family. This is Sushi. Our physical environment represents our mental well-being and a cluttered and unorganized space is never a good idea or a good space to be in. You need to have a space that has energy free-flowing and that has positivity all around and one of the best ways to feel better immediately and instantly is to just clean. I love the feeling of a freshly clean house. Next, journal out your thoughts. Declutter your mental space. You can use something like this, uh, which is just a few questions that you can answer every day. But I love this book as well. It's called A Doodle A Day, and it has 365 things you could doodle. And that's a great way to kind of brain dump all your thoughts. Or you could just use a plain notebook like this. I love this one. I usually write my everyday things in here. Next, truly spend time doing things that you absolutely love. It could be anything. It could be a book that you love reading. It could be dancing. It could be obviously doing your makeup. Um, you could go back to painting again. You know, anything that fuels your creativity. One of my favorite things to do is to actually take care of my plants. I find great joy in doing this. And taking care of my plants is like taking care of myself. This is so important. You need to eat well and be mindful about what you are putting inside your body and you will see changes. Lastly, but most importantly, it is to have fixed routines for yourself. You need to have work-life balance. Every day at six o'clock, I go um, and work out with my fitness trainer and that is such an important timing that I do not like to skip. And when you do incorporate discipline in your life, your life, will get easier and that's the best way to take care of yourself. So those were all of the things. Um, I'm so happy that you got to meet my little fur babies and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one.